Hi guys, it's Riley here, and today is kind of an important video for you all. I have been wanting to talk about this for a while, and it has actually been one of my more requested videos recently, so I thought it would be important to make. Usually for videos like this, I have an outline all set and planned in my YouTube notebook, but I actually didn't plan this one, and I feel like it would be better if I wasn't like reading from a plan. So I want to talk to you guys today about impure regression. Impure regression can mean a lot of different things and look a lot of different ways for basically everyone. So a lot of the things I say in this video are going to be my personal experiences. Everybody's experience might be different than mine, so take what I say with a grain of salt. Generally, impure regression is prompted by a severe mental illness or trauma. Whereas regression tends to be a pretty pure and happy headspace, impure regression is basically the opposite of that. For me personally, impure regression looks like a lot of fits, a lot of crying, a lot of anxiety. I deal with flashbacks to trauma and severe symptoms of mental illness. And overall, impure regression is not happy. But even though it's not happy, I still think it is very important for those of us who experience it. A lot of my impure regression has to do with when I was assaulted. And through impure regression, I sometimes relive those emotions, but it gives me the ability to observe and look at them and experiencing them again when I'm in a safe environment helps me then when I'm not regressed to process what happened. Impure regression can just be regression that is prompted by depression or another mental illness, but it can also be triggered by trauma or flashbacks and things of that sort. Impure regression is entirely involuntary. It is not something we necessarily want, it's just something that happens. And I will have a video coming out hopefully next week about involuntary versus voluntary regression. If I haven't already posted it, I can't remember if I have. If I did, whoops. Impure regression can be really, really hard on the regressor because in the moment you're just so scared and you don't really know how to cope and that's why I feel like a lot of people who do regress impurely enjoy having a caretaker or a babysitter around to kind of calm them down and help them through it or they talk to other regressors who have been through similar issues but overall for those of us who do regress impurely sometimes while it sucks in the moment and while it hurts and while it's so scary it can help you in the long run and there are some people who only impurely regress and then there are some people who are mainly pure regressors who occasionally experience impure regression. It's kind of a complicated to explain because I don't want to say the wrong thing and I want you guys to know that this is just my take, my personal experience with it and it might be different for you or someone you know. Impure regression can contain some pretty nasty and heinous thoughts. I'm going to get into a little bit of a trigger area here so please proceed with caution right now. I'll probably make a whole video on kind of what happened to me and the reasons I personally impurely regress but for me it was prompted by a sexual assault that happened when I was regressed so a lot of times I get back into that vulnerable scared headspace where I don't know if I'm safe and that's hard that's a hard thing to deal with it's hard to deal with all of those flashbacks and bad memories and thoughts a lot of times when somebody regresses impurely because of a sexual assault or a sexual trauma, they have intrusive thoughts while regressed about sex and about that trauma. Obviously, there is no acting on those thoughts. Regression, whether it's impure or not, is 100% non-sexual, and those sexual thoughts that come in usually stem from trauma and they're intrusive, which means you can't control them. But with that being said, if you do experience thoughts like that when you're impurely regressed, I want you to know you're valid, you're okay, and you are safe. You're not gross for having those thoughts. It's not something that you can control. And as long as you're not acting on them while in the headspace, you'll be okay. I feel like this was a little bit short, but if there's anything that I missed that you would like me to cover, please send me a DM over on Twitter or Instagram that are linked down below, and I will plan out another video about impure regression. I hope this made a little bit of sense and provided some insight to you if you did impurely regress but didn't know what it was, or you don't and want to understand it better. If you did get something out of this video, you can subscribe to my channel because I post about twice a week over here. 
I am thinking about posting three times a week though, two sit down -y type videos and one vlog. So if you guys like that idea, please let me know. I also have two other channels if you want to see even more videos from me. I have a regular vlog channel and a main channel where I post non-regression content. Those are both linked down in the description. If you'd like to keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can go over and follow me on my Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. I love you guys a whole lot. Stay safe, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.